A new group of celebrities have come together for the 2022 season of Celebrity Apprentice Australia, meaning battles in the boardroom are officially back. Watch below, Celebrity Apprentice Australia 2022 trailer Each one will be vying to win money for a charity of choice, but they've got a long way to go before the top entrepreneur is chosen. In each episode, our celebs take on a business challenge in teams, and at the end, one member of the losing team will get the boot from billionaire boss and judge of the show, Alan Sugar. This year, we'll see the likes of actress Jodie Gordon, motivational speaker and writer Turia Pitt, and actor Vince Colosimo, try to prove their business smarts, but not all will be successful. Scroll on to find out who has left the show. Beck Zemeck Influencer Beck Zemeck got her start as a controversial bride on Married at First Sight. She appeared on the show's premiere last night, and was challenged with holding a charity golf event. Unfortunately, Beck clashed with project manager Turia Pitt, who reported to Lord Sugar that Beck was manipulative, condescending and patronising. Beck, I don't think that you are a very good team player, Lord Sugar told her. So therefore Beck, you're fired. Aloni Vunakesh The apprentices were put to work last night running a food delivery service, where they had to make customer satisfaction their top priority. Aloni Vunakesh was called out later on in the boardroom for not adding value to the team, with his advisors finding he did too little. I don't know what you did in this task, Lord Sugar said to him. I don't think you're made for this process to be honest, and so Aloni, it is with regret that you're fired. Controversially though, Aloni was brought back by Lord Sugar after a redemption challenge. With WASNT meant to last, though, when he failed the eighth challenge. I think you've reached as far as you can in this process, Lord Sugar told him. However, he left Aloni with a check for his charity in recognition of his hard work and effort. Jody Gordon Jody Gordon became the third celebrity kicked off Celebrity Apprentice last night after a challenge that saw the group trying to sell a wellness retreat experience. Feedback from the guests came in, claiming the way Jody acted was no different to that of a guest, rather than an employee. Project manager Bronte Campbell decided to take Jody to the boardroom based on the feedback, as well as Turia Pitt, who had stolen furniture from the other campsite in a moment of frustration toward the other team. Ultimately, it was Jody who was fired by Lord Sugar. Ensure that when anyone is in the boardroom, they feel like they're just personally attacked. I'm very much feeling that right now. I felt it last week as well, Jody told the cameras. I don't think Lord Sugar has seen what I've got to offer. I don't think that he made the right decision in firing me. Gamble Bro Gamble was already under fire going into the fourth challenge, having been Bronte Campbell's first choice to return to the boardroom the night before after failing to secure the campsite the girls' team wanted for the wellness retreat challenge. This time, the celebs had to disguise themselves as everyday people and complete a scavenger hunt in Sydney's Newtown. Searching for a list of 10 items, they had to bargain within a short amount of time, aiming to spend less money than the opposing team. Gamble, unfortunately, used up most of her time trying to buy the wrong tea set, causing her team to lose. She found herself at the end of Lord Sugar's no-nonsense approach to cutting the celebrities. Gamble, you're fired, he said. Vince Colosimo Aussie actor Vince Colosimo became the fifth celeb to be booted from the show last night, after he failed to make an infomercial task work for his team. While the opposing team were able to harness the various talents of their individual apprentices, Vince got caught up in the moment and had trouble keeping control. He lost the challenge to Team Innovate and landed himself in the boardroom alongside Turia Pitt and Ronnie Caceres. While both Turia and Vince tried to take the blame, Ronnie happily admitted that he thought Vince caused the most problems, leading to Lord Sugar deciding to fire him. I've learned that being yourself, being honest, being true is the best asset to have, Vince said of the experience. I had a particularly great bond with all the boys, they were a really lovely bunch of guys, he said. Jared Scott model Jared Scott was the latest celebrity to get the boot, after a failed car boot sale. Things got very tight between the two teams as they struggled to make the most amount of money flogging personal items. While return apprentice Beck Zemeck sold her MAFS wedding dress, and Bronte Campbell was able to sell merchandise from the Commonwealth Games, those with a smaller profile struggled. Aloni Vunakesh, who had just scrambled back into the competition after being the second one sent home, was the project manager for the losing team, and got called to face Lord Sugar. 
he took Jared, who barely contributed in a vague attempt to sabotage Aloni, and Carla, who seemed to try very hard, along with him. In the end, Lord Sugar fired Jared over his lack of contribution. Too many excuses as far as I'm concerned. Trying to get a straight answer out of you is like trying to fight smoke, Lord Sugar said. You're fired. Samantha Jade The celebrities were tasked with developing a line of lingerie products and putting on a fashion show, with a new recruit, Amy Shark, also joining their ranks. It was Carla from Bankstown and Beck Zemeck's turns to take over as project manager, and while Carla's team flourished, Beck struggled to pull their show together. However, some sneaky boardroom backstabbing saw Beck form an alliance with Ronnie, so that when the time came, they could gang up on the third person in the room. Beck selected Samantha to come back with them, given her efforts as design manager didn't do much for the team. With Beck and Ronnie vying for each other, it was Sammy who got fired, much to the dismay of the rest of the celebrities, with Darren and Carla in particular slamming the choice as ridiculous. Will Woody radio hosts Will Woody found themselves on the chopping block last night after their project management role in the task of the day didn't go to plan. The celebrities were tasked with writing, illustrating and then performing their own children's book, and Will and Woody's concepts failed to translate. They later returned to the boardroom with Turia and Ronnie, with Ronnie going on to claim that Turia had attempted to sabotage the team. I'm probably not meant to do this but I can't substantiate what Ronnie is saying about Turia, Will told Lord Sugar. If you're looking for someone to fire, I don't think you can look much further than here, he continued. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure, Lord Sugar said before firing them. Carla from Bankstown Carla got booted after last night's challenge, which was to successfully pull off a hens and bucks party on a boat. However, the task was more about procedure and process rather than throwing a massive bash, and Carla's failure to read her contract left her in hot water. She failed to provide enough food and drinks for the hens party, landing her in the boardroom beside Jean Kitson, the project manager, and Darren McMullen, who was in charge of entertainment. In the end, Lord Sugar regretfully had to let Carla go. Carla, it's been a blast having you here. You're a great character. I sincerely wish you well, but I think you've reached the final stage of this process, Lord Sugar told her. Beck Zemeck again. After being the first one booted from the show, Beck fought her way back into the boardroom alongside Aloni. While she'd been doing pretty well, having teamed up with Ronnie, she met her second end in the 11th challenge. The task was to execute a guerrilla marketing strategy for Subway, and Beck was in charge of Team Collaborate's location and food sourcing. But just ahead of the event, she was nowhere to be found. Beck landed in the boardroom with Ronnie and Bronte, but her established alliance couldn't save her as Lord Sugar zeroed in. Beck, you came back from redemption. Since you came back you did up your game here, but it's clear to me you were weak in this task, he told her. Beck, you're fired, read next, Beck's a Mex baby girl, all the best photos of Imi you can catch Celebrity Apprentice Australia on.